Okay, today I'm going to go over loading some 223 Remington. Um, there's a couple different kinds of brass. A lot of people use uh, NATO brass uh, to load as 223, which is okay. But uh, you'll have different pressures. Always work up your loads. But anyway, today I'm going to show you guys step step by step how to load 223 Remington. The way I like to start, I go ahead and tumble my brass and get it clean because I don't like running dirty brass through my dies. But after that, go ahead and take your case lube. I use one shot case lube. There's a lot of different kinds. It doesn't... Nothing particular about each kind. Just some kinds are a little more messy. Like Cabela's case lube, I think it's real sticky and makes a mess in your dies. So I just prefer one shot. But to start out, always shake up your case lube really good so it doesn't settle in the bottom. And then I like to face my brass like this. So that way whenever you spray it, you get a little bit in the neck. It helps prevent it from getting stuck in your dye. It doesn't take much, just a little bit here. Roll it. Get it to the other side. Go ahead and hit it like that. Let that dry for just a second while we do that. Another good thing is to take your reloading die. So this is the sizing and decapping die. Go ahead and take a little bit of your case lube and just give it a little squirt right there just to give it a good start out so that way it's not dry when you run your brass through. Let that dry for just a second. Go ahead and put it back in the press. <laughs> Next step is I go ahead and I bring my lube brass and I move it over to my press. I'll get back to you guys in just a second. Alright guys, now I'm over here at my press. I have my brass right here lubed, primed, has a spent primer. The next step for me, I go ahead and put it in here. I got my sizing die right here. Now that my sizing die, everything is lubed, everything's ready to go. I go ahead and run my die up. It just now dropped the primer. It cams over slightly. I like to, especially my military brass, I cam it over just a little bit in the press just to bump the shoulder back a little bit. Alright, now the brass is deprimed and sized. Next, we're going to have to take this military brass over to the swager and go ahead and knock the crimps out of the primer pockets. Alright, now I'm over here at my RCBS swager. And let me see if y'all can see this. See if I can get it to focus here. Well, it's not cooperating, but <clears throat> there's a sharp edge around the uh, primer pocket, which is where they've smashed in the edge to hold in the primer. So what we're going to do, we're going to just knock that edge off there so that way it's, it's possible to just pack another primer in there. Put it on there just like that. Pull your handle. It lines up in the primer pocket. And now it's smooth and uh, ready to take a primer. All right, now we're over here at the Hornady cam lock trimmer. And right now we're going to go ahead and we're going to size this brass. So right now, let me make sure you all can see this. 
the brass is at 1.760 which is max trim length you want it to be at 1.750 so we're going to go ahead and trim it just so if you take it to the the trim length you can usually get a couple shots out of it before you have to trim again lock it down turn it till you don't really feel it biting anymore and then it's done one point seven five zero that's minimum trim length so it's ready to rock alright so as you guys can tell this has been trimmed has a flat edge on it has burrs at sharp edge you want to make that sharp edge go away also clean up the inside so it's easier to see the bullet so I got a Hornady case prep trio now as you can see has a nice fine edge don't have a sharp edge no more it's smooth it's a cleaned up case Alright, next up, we're ready to get this brass loaded. Alright, so now we got the brass over here, we got our bullets. I've already loaded my primers, but as you can see I'm using CCI number 400 small rifle primers. For the bullet, I'm using a uh, Hornady 55 grain FMJ boat tail bullet now we're over here by the press ready to rock and roll go ahead and grab your first piece of brass now you can see it has a brand new primer You want to make sure your primer's flush. It doesn't stick up any. If it does, you need to reseat it. But this one's countersunk. It's good. Just below flush, which is also good. <laughs> so after your primer's in, now you want to get a load of powder. I put my finger over it just so it doesn't drop out a bunch of powder but uh, after that you want to go ahead and run your uh, bullet seating stem up because you don't want to seat it too deep and you don't know exactly where it's going to be so now it's prime it has powder in it next thing to do is to seat your bullet Set your bullet right on top there. Go ahead and run it up. That's what you don't want to happen. That's why you keep your hands on it. Run it up. <clears throat> and you just want to slowly keep pushing the bullet down until you get close to where you know you need to be. Like, see, it's getting close to the cantaloupe now. So I'm going to start going in smaller increments.
This isn't something you want to do if you're die seats and crimps at the same time. It's a little bit tougher, but uh, I'm crimping in a separate step, so it's not bad. I can sit here and shove this thing down all day. Alright, we're starting to get close. We want to be at 2.200. See where we're at. 2.233. So we'll go ahead and run it down a little more. Two point two two eight. Should be close. Two point two two one. Two point two zero one. So just a tiny bit more. All right, now we're at two point two zero zero, which is where we want this thing to be. Next step after you have it seated where you want it, go ahead and run it up. Now you got a crimp case. That right there is your loaded cartridge ready to go. I can shove this thing in an AR-15 right now and send it down range. So let's go ahead and finish up the rest of them. All right. Alright, well we'll get back to where I lubed the cases and we'll see the finished product. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the finished product. So right here, we have five rounds ready to be shot. All got brand new primers and have bullets in them and they're all crimped. These things are ready to be fired so that's start to finish how to load a 223 Remington. See you guys next time.